Mariah the Elf presents Let's Play Skyrim Part 1. Alrighty, folks. Well, I said I was going to do a Skyrim playthrough, and I am going to deliver on my promise. So here we are. And as you can see, very exciting, the opening screen where you can <coughs> choose to continue or, you know, whatever. And so we start. I started a new character for this particular series. Um, not going to be too clever here. After all, this channel is called Mariah the Elf. So the character, as you are going to see shortly, will be an elf named da -da 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 -da, Mariah. So as you can see, I went through a few different things here just to kind of give you a look and see what they, what the races offer. Uh, we have, you know, Argodians, Bretons, Imperials, Nords, and plus a bunch of races that I uh, have mods for. So you can just like ignore those. Um, <laughs> although I do like to play as a vampire Nord. Um, <laughs> because I can never seem to, when I play regularly, contract the Sanguinare Vampiris virus. So it's like, I got frustrated, I downloaded this mod that adds extra races, and here we have the character creation screen where you can see that it takes an absurdly long time to go to a female body. And there we go. So I didn't click too many of the presets, just a few. Uh, as you can see, or as you will see, I did kind of just go through these and I didn't really stop to give a lot of time for explanations or anything. <clears throat> because mostly this is just, you know, a Let's Play Skyrim video and you can add scars, war paint, you can change the war paint color, you can add dirt and change the color of the dirt, as well as giving her a different complexion which goes from young to like really ugly and old. <laughs> Not that all, all old people are ugly, I'm just saying old looking elves are kind of ugh looking. And you have different settings here if you want to tweak your character absurdly, you know, to just perfect and just how you like it, you can. Uh, you will notice here that I have colors that are not in the ordinary particular, you know, set thing that comes with the default game. I do have a mod for that as well because I got tired of just the same old, same old. I mean, after you log 400 plus hours on Skyrim, you get tired of the same old, same old. So then you want more selections when you go to create your characters. And I do go through and add some eyeliner and eyeshadow, and I, you know, check the eye tint and see if it's the same shade I want. Um, really don't have any mods for that kind of stuff, just mostly like eyes and hair and things like that. Uh, you will see the hair mods in a moment here. Because I go through those as I look for, a, you know, a style that I like. And I did a little bit of adjustment to her brow because I was like, she looks like she's really depressed. So, let's fix that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they don't really have eyebrows for these particular characters that I actually really like, so I just deal with. Um, I suppose I could. Yeah, you could see that I play here with that thing because I don't really understand. Didn't really understand what brow width does. Um, as I learned, it drives her brows further apart. And so I, you can see I adjusted it to bring them a little closer together. And here you can change, you know, little details with the mouth. You can, you know, go through and tweak that pretty much however. Um, and you do have a lip color setting here. You also have various, looks like cheek color settings. Uh, just going through and, you know, getting a color that I like. I actually really like the black, but one of my friends said that it looks really creepy at one point. Uh, and here we go. See the different hairs? They don't, you know, they're not lore friendly. So I know if any of you out there are really, you know, strict on the, not the vampire lore, sorry. Skyrim lore. I've been thinking about vampires a lot. Um, then you would probably freak out when you see this. But as you can see, I'm gonna pick a hairstyle. It's not really that bad. Uh, well, I guess it is kind of bad. It's anime hair, OMG, and I did stick with it. And I also have a mod that adds a lot of different hair colors. And just because I love you guys and I want to torment you, I chose a hair color that is way obviously not in lore, but it's close to what the color I had for her in Oblivion was. And I named her Mirai, of course. And in here you can see the Live Another Life, and in my last video, I, my test video, I did say I was going to start with the original opening. Um, as you're going to find out, I lied. I decided that, you know, the original opening is great, but I've been through it so many times it's just <clears throat> become lather, rinse, and repeat. Uh, so I did go ahead and choose a different opening. <clears throat> and that's the poor bastard that she ate, apparently, to survive. And that's the statue of Mara. 
that you go to and you when you have the uh, live another life mod and you can go buy a ship to Skyrim you can own property you know you can have all this patron of local n you know got caught crossing if you wonder which the one is that gets you the original opening I do believe it's the one where it says I got caught crossing the border um, the text on my screen here is really small so it's hard to see uh, but if you choose like the guild you can go with like the companions and the dark brotherhood and all sorts of wonderful things I did choose own property in one of the holds and as you will see in a moment I did choose proud spire manor because it does offer you know the different mana two different mannequins several places to put weapons it's just a wonderful house it's one of my favorites and it's in a city that I like to spend a lot of time in um, I don't really much care for white run and yes as you can see nobody responds to my pounding on the door you're locked in so unless you use console commands which I'm pretty sure there's nothing out there anyway but you could use a console to command I guess to find out and there's Mariah with her bright pink hair in oblivion she had bright purple hair I tend to go for the more completely not lore friendly colors because it's fun and actually kind of reminds me of Tonks from Harry Potter but not really who I was trying to emulate and it did this glitch again for some reason where it shows the bed again before it cuts to the black screen where it loads you in the house and I did do a little bit of a run through through Proud Spire Manor which you'll see here in a moment just because I had actually uh, every time I come into this house this way I never actually look around I just, you know, run outside because they have something, you know, and I absolutely hate those hats, by the way. Those hats, I just don't wear hats. I mean, I barely even wear a helmet <clears throat> when I play normally. Uh, so I took the hat off, and as you can see, I'm going to go up the stairs and around the corner, and yes, I use my, I don't have a mouse. I probably will invest one in the future, so for now I use the trackpad on my laptop, and so it gives you that, and I didn't even know those weapons were put up there. Like I said, I just never explore this house when I first buy it. Or whenever I first, you know, get it through this mod. When I buy it, obviously, I come in as soon as I can and start unloading all the crap that I pick up along the way. Um, I like this house because it does have so many places for you to put your crap. And there's a safe. And as you can tell in a moment, I'm going to take everything out but the gold. Because you can sell everything else. And the gold, you know, as you can see, she has 235. And actually, I probably will wind up regretting not taking that gold. Uh... And to be completely honest, I forgot about it until I started watching it, until I started uh, watching the video to record the narration. Because I don't do narration while I record the video, um, just because I don't really know how. But I might try to do that in the future, just because I think it's more immersive in a sense that you know you find out things as I go along, and I get to actually say things as they happen. So then I have my you know the idea when it's fresh and new to me and. As you can see, I went down here. There's the uh, arcane enchanter, the two mannequins you get. What I went past has a bunch of, like, has a weapon rack and a bunch of, like, iron bars and stuff for, like, you know, crafting, smithing and stuff. Um, and a loading screen. And as you can tell, it pertains to solitude because that is the town I'm in. And fun fact, when you load up this particular mod in the game and you start off in this house, you have not discovered solitude yet. So, in a moment here, you will see when I, uh, oh, Sheogorath, I love Sheogorath. I wish he had more quests in Skyrim. Um, I went through his quest line in Oblivion and absolutely loved it. I, beca I loved becoming the god of madness. That was awesome. Or the mad god, sorry. Um, yeah, my computer takes a really long time to load these stupid things. Of course, there's a lot to load. Solitude's a pretty big place. And we're loading! <clears throat> Sorry if I keep clearing my throat. Um, just having a little trouble here today with that. And the last time I did last time I did this, if you'll remember in the test video, I came out on the porch. This time I actually managed to go out the front door. Or, you know, whatever considered, if you consider that the front door. Uh, and here we go, up towards the marketplace. Where you have, like, Advar and Jala and, uh, oh, what's her other name? Like, oh, what is her name? There's another merchant up there too that I can't remember that she sells the spiced wine. And uh, she's the one that you have to go talk to somebody about getting the spiced wine. But I didn't start that quest in here. Actually, since my videos can only be 15 minutes long, I doubt I will actually be able to get much of anything done in one video. So it'll probably take me 
because I'm not a YouTube partner, you know, I'm not one of those, you know, high up people that can do that kind of stuff. I would like to try eventually, maybe someday. Um, and yes, this execution, this, all this guy did was open the gate for Ulfric after his challenge, and you'll find out, you know, this was, you know, fair combat. This is a custom of Nords, so... <coughs> But this is the Empire for you, and this is why I never joined the side of the Legion, because I just can't stand the Legion. I mean, you know, aside from the fact that at Helgen, when you first start the game up on a vanilla game, where it doesn't have any of the mods or anything, the Empire tries to have you beheaded. Why? Oh, no reason! You just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And... Off with his head, and as you can see, I moved a little closer. Because, as you can see there, his eyes do blink a couple times before he closes them forever. Um, kind of gruesome, but that's a nice little detail, I think, that adds, you know, some realism to the game. And I did go and try to talk to Tari and some of the guys that were just standing around. Um, because they do, you know, only say you, these things when the execution is going on. And later, if you talk to Sorex, um, he actually says, you know, that Rogvir was not that nice of a guy, and he doesn't, really, you know, he doesn't mind that he's dead. So. <clears throat> and Noster Eagle Eye. Yeah, he was, I think, an Imperial. I don't, I don't remember for sure. And Tari runs a shop with, I guess, her sister. She's a real, her sister's a real bitch. Tari's actually nice, but her sister's a real bitch. Um, and... Then I walk over here, and I forgot what I was doing at this point. I think I was looking for a place that sells armor. And then I decided, oh yeah, I have a quest in my log. And we're going to investigate rumors of war activity near Helgen, so we go to the Winking Skeever. Because that's where, you know, all the people with all their little rumors are. And we open the Winking Skeever. And we're loading. And there we go. And so I go up to Corpulus here, and he's Welcome actually a pretty decent guy. Um, and so you ask him that question about the... And I went ahead and well, asked him why he out, named it the I Winking Skeever. Uh, just because I always liked this particular bit here. Um, and after that I left. And that's the end of this video. And I will see you next time. We'll cover blacksmithing a little bit next time. Have a great day.